So we've got 20 pieces to reach up the wall. Uh, they're flat over now to um, measure up and cut the edges. Uh, you'll end up with some crap edges unless you do, and they come in different lengths. Because of the copper arsenic it's been soaked in and it's going inside, we've got to be able to seal this with an undercoat and two coats of paint. So to go through, sort them all out. There's a lot of cupping going on, a lot of bending and twisting. Got rid of those, replaced those. So I've got some reasonably straight boards. I mean. One undercoat and two coats of top paint. Get this blue boy, baby, baby boys blue. Uh, so the holes have been pre-drilled. Ends, center, and the other end ready. So we used anchor screws to go through the concrete and the brick, some um, washer, square washer, and they've been pre-drilled out. They'll go through nice and there's a plenty of space in there. Just for so the three upright supporting posts are in place. Can of Sam put those anchor screws in, they put three, the one top, middle and down the bottom, checking to make sure that they're spaced in between your timbers so you're not coinciding with one of your screws going through. Drill through here using a long wood spade set, which is long enough to go right through the timber into the supporting, into the dip rock, which is quite a thick dip rock. And uh, so you're not putting too much pressure um, on your hole. And you've, we're gonna be putting quite a few up here. There's gonna be actually 20, so we've got to take as much strain off the one piece of timber as we can. That last piece had to be plain. There was such a um, bow in the, uh, or a bend actually in the timber piece. It took a bit out of both ends. So it fit a bit flatter. It's not going to really affect us. It's, it's still got the effect. Having a gap's got an effect anyway. But so the top one was a little bit too wide. So we had a rip saw it down, which is fine, and uh, completed. So it was about three and a half hours to put it all up. So the washers are diagonal and just for effect, as I was saying. And uh, you've got the, the neat ends now. The both ends are both the same couple of um, signs oversized for trucks stop and red signal and the um, the signal it's a stop and go signal for train lines we picked up from a collector 